What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, this is what we're planning on for my wife's cart. I have a Nokens Deluxe LED headlight kit. I'm gonna get it uh, assembled, installed, working as well. I have a mic tuning eight gang. It's their new eight gang um, switch panel. The last one I had operated the accessories off of the ground side. And I think this one operates everything off the positive side. I think there might be some more wires involved as well. We're going to go over that, get that installed on the golf cart as well. I've ordered a battery charger, onboard battery charger, and a dual plug. We're going to get all of that installed on today's video as well, and maybe some other things. So, so right now, we're kind of pushing for time, and uh, we're just going to jump into the video. All right, so this is the mic tuning 8-gain uh, switch panel here. It hooks up to a 12-volt battery. I've taken it out to look at it, but so your eight gang panel here will mount somewhere like on the dash. And I've ran these before. Walking Tall has one on that golf cart. And the reason I like these is because I can mount all of my switches in one location, just run one wire. It has a power on and off. It's got your uh, brightness and dim button down here. And you can change the color of all the switches with this button right here. You got some stickers right here once you get everything going you can take the stickers off and place them on here to correlate to what each button does they give you two power wires they give you a ground wire you have a cable here that attaches to the main hub see it's got negative positive down here you got two clips up here you got one clip you can't get it wrong okay so you have this is going to operate as your fuse block and it's going to operate as your switcher and everything there so you have your negative, your positive, and you have two different connectors there as well. So it's just got negative power, negative power, negative power, and so on. It tells you which one uh, correlates to the fuse here, 30, 20, 15, 10. They give you some mounts. Say if you were gonna install this like on a Jeep, since we're not installing this on a Jeep and we're gonna put it on a golf cart, probably gonna stick the control unit itself to the top of the battery. They give you a circuit breaker as well. This is an 80 amp circuit breaker here. Hit the button one time, it'll release it or break the circuit. You have to manually slide it back. You got a protective cover on here. Uh, last time I used this, I didn't use the protective cover, but it's there if, in case you wanted to use it. And it comes with all the hardware. It comes with more brackets to mount the controller itself. If you wanted to like Put it somewhere and swivel it you could do that comes with a fuse jumper wire zip ties and it comes with a new power cable here what this one does here this new box one of these plugs here this bigger plug is going to be for the um, switching unit itself and this right here is going to be for the ignition power so you can take this right here plug it in and hook it to the key switch and your accessories will only turn on and off of the key switch if you want to do that which is pretty nice I'm thinking of mounting the uh, control board to the top of the battery, not using screws, obviously, probably using heavy duty Velcro. Doing the same thing with the circuit breaker as well, just mount it up here. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the battery out and I was test fitting the, the main hub for the mic tuning thing. I don't know, guys, I'm kind of not feeling this right here handle. Thinking about removing it from the battery since it only weighs 26 pounds. I mean, it's not heavy at all. Um, or either maybe just cutting it in half, laying it over both sides, and if we need to pick it up, we can do that. That might be the better way of doing it. I'm gonna do that. Sometimes when I'm making these videos, I'll actually pause and I'll think about something for too long and then just waste time. I'm trying not to do that right now. Now I can put it back here, and if I ever need to get it, I can just pick it up. Oh yeah, that's simple, we can do that. Right here. All right, so there's two ways of using the ignition power here. Number one is if you have it on ignition input here, this little switch is towards this little white connector. Okay. 
okay? If it switches towards the little white connector and you give it power, you see the board, the LED light is not lit until you add ignition switch to it. There it is, you can control it with your key on or off if you have a vehicle. We're not gonna use this in this application here. We're gonna use it mainly just on this battery pack itself. So you slide the switch over. So every time this breaker is in the set position, that let red light will be on, but if you wanna turn the whole system off, you can just hit this button right here. The system right there will turn off as well. Hit your breaker on. So right here will be connected. There's different modes. I'll just turn it on. You can turn it off here. Okay, run through RGB. Red, pink, green, blues, purples, whites, right? You have the dimmer. It gets brighter again. Say, let's say we're gonna use this right here, switch leg turn something on you hit it one time it turns on right and you have to turn it back off now let's say you have a horn and make it momentary when you could use like uh, you can hit this right here button hold it down until it turns red hit that then turn it off then when you turn it back on if you're gonna hit this button again it'll be momentary which is pretty cool all right so I had some people ask on the last video I made on this right here said, how about if, you know, I work for a volunteer firefighter or whatever, can you make it strobe and flash? And the answer is yes. I didn't show it in your last video, but I'll show it in this one. We're gonna enter the program mode the same way. We're gonna hold this right here down. See there, held that down one second. When it's flashing red, that means it's in the momentary function. We hit again, blue is gonna be the strobe function. So we're gonna hit this one here, turn it off there. Then once we go to hit this one right here again, see it's gonna just sit back and strobe. See it's flashing there. So there you go. And if you wanna turn any of these back off here, just hold this right here button down, hit that one, hit that one. Get back on here, that's now latched. In order to turn this off, we gotta go back to the blue setting Turn it back on, it's now latched. You have to manually turn it on or turn it off. I got a meter here, I got a set 20 on the DC side here. Let's just test everything to be sure that we only have power outputs and not ground outputs. And we do have voltage. So that means the ground is constant on all of them, which is a good thing. And the power, I shouldn't have no power on here. We don't. Now if we hit the switch, then we should have power. The power jumps on. We hit the switch off. And the power is off. So good. So now on this unit here, it switches the power leg instead of the ground leg. Now on walk and tall, I put one of these on there and it switched the ground leg. I didn't like that, but the company uh, asked me for my suggestion. I told them and it looks like they've changed it. So I like that a lot better. Now I didn't mention this and maybe I should mention it. For anyone asking, let me go ahead and plug this up. Each circuit has an LED light on it, okay? So once you give it power, you have your main LED light here, but if you switch a circuit on with your remote, it shows an LED light for which circuit it's hooked to. All right, let's get it back into the golf cart here. I'm using the two-handle method, which isn't bad at all. I wish this wire was just a little bit shorter, but it'll be all right. Okay, I'm gonna lay these handles back down here. And once we put our top on, we should be able to hide both of these wires here. There it goes. Top's not going anywhere now, that's now covered. All right, so the battery is now opposite. I had it flipped around a minute ago, but before I put the zip tie on there, I wanted to switch it in this orientation because this wire here was originally coming out over here, going over here, I didn't like that. I know that's a lot of heaters, but I went ahead and flipped it around. I can uh, move it this right here, location. It's, it's not going over there as much. I can reroute this right here charger wire for the battery to this charger here around it going back through. I'm gonna hang out this right here battery in as well. Got it zip tied. Everything is in place. Okay, 
for that. Just kill power. I think it looks good. This install here is complete. Other than mounting the uh, switch box here, which we're probably gonna do that in an upcoming video because where we're gonna mount it at, we don't have the dash just yet. I'm supposed to be picking up the day from the paint shop to match this cart. So anyways, that's gonna go there. And it's got a couple of different ways of mounting it. I might just run like uh, two sided tape on it or whatever. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get the lights open and get those mounted. We're not running the light wires here because if we ran them here, we'd have to turn one of these switches on before we turn the light switch on. I don't want to do that. So we're going to run the light wires directly to the battery here. Okay. That way I can turn them on at all times through that one switch and that the brake uh, pedal light will always work no matter if the golf cart's on or off. LED Luxury Plus Lamp Kit. This came from Nokens here. Now it's on the front of the golf cart. It's got some custom uh, tail lights on there. It's got turn signals and all that. I plan to install this right here on the day's video as well. And then we can go over everything and see, you know, how it performs. So, catch instructions. Tail lights for club car president luxury kit with LED turn signal gradual change. So got a harness, steering tube cover, some more harness wires as well. Got a turn signal stall. It's like a brake light switch as well. This is gonna be the horn. That's the main unit. I think it looks pretty good. It's different than most. Also include a, a DC to DC power adapter. And uh, this operates anywhere from 12 to 72 volts and it, it delivers 12 volt output. However, on our golf cart today, we're not gonna need this because uh, we're running everything off of a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. All right, so it talks about in the instructions, start with the harness, uh, route the harness forward into the back. And then you have another shorter harness with a bunch of wires on it here. This connects to the headlight into that harness. It also has two extra wires, hot and ground, one for a rear fog light, one for a front fog light. You could probably put accessories on there like wheel lights or underglow or whatever and control those from the stalk, which is pretty cool. It also has a, some USB wires because this kit also comes with the USB adapter so you can charge phones or whatever. And on that little uh, USB adapter, it also has a gauge so we can tell 12 volt system you know exactly how much power we have on that gauge so next i'm gonna do is to go ahead and start running some of these wires and get them installed and uh, check them out on the headlight you have turn signals high beams low beams daytime running light as well so you notice there's four wires back here you got one big one there next thing i'm gonna do is install the headlight some of this uh insulation i think the headlight in the instructions were supposed to be installed last I'm going to go ahead and uh, do it, run the wire up through the um, body support there, plug it in, and this right here will be done as well. All right, got the headlight installed. That's what it looks like. Doesn't look bad. Next thing I'm going to mount is this turn signal switch here, or the stalk. So here's the deal. I got the steering column stalk on. Uh, before I install the dash, I'm going to have to take it back off run all of these wires through the column opening and then put the column back on it but that's there and once we get to that step we'll do that but we're going to get it installed and see what it looks like got that cover on looks good all right that is the steering column stalk it looks pretty good i like the fact that it has your hazard here your headlights running lights you can click it for your brights. Okay, got your horn. You also have your front fogs and your rear fogs right there as well. Now on this main connection here that runs to the back and it hooks to the headlights and all of that, you're gonna have a purple and black wire that's gonna come off of here. That's gonna be for the horn. The horn they've included has two metal brackets. I just put them together, bolted it to it. I'm gonna fasten it underneath the golf cart making sure to mount the horn facing down so water doesn't get into it. It doesn't matter the polarity for uh, the terminals here, purple or black go either direction. All right, so this bracket here goes in around the brake assembly. I'll show you here in just a minute, but this right here is actually a pull switch. And when it's closed right here, it has no continuity, but when you pull it, 
it has continuity to trigger the light. This is a little bracket that's gonna go around the brake lever. All right, went ahead and got the brake switch mounted. Comes with four small Phillips head screws. Went ahead and put this L bracket in here between uh, the adjuster here and the nut. Got it tightened down so when you press on the pedal, it actually pulls it. And when it pulls it, it makes contact. Right now it's open. So it's on and it's off. You can see the uh, brake lights there and it's off. So these are the tail lights to come in the package here. And I went ahead and removed the uh, sticker tape that's on top of it. I moved it too fast and it left some residue behind. It's a four wire unit. It's got some double sided tape back here. Two mounting points, one here, one there, you know. Kind of like your typical lights for the uh, for the for the tail lights. But if you've made it this far, I didn't show these in the opening scene. They also make smoked tail lights for your golf cart as well. Let's pull this a little bit slower so we don't get that sticky residue. These are tinted black. They also have multiple rows of LEDs. You can see in there. Okay, kinda. We're gonna use these instead because they're, I don't know, they're different, you know? Everyone has these taillights on their president. And I thought it'd be cool to add this flare to it. So these are the ones that we're gonna install. I can't wait to see them go on there. So if you made it this far and you didn't quit the video, well, you're seeing something new here. Another cool thing about this kit is they give you these hole saw bits here. We're gonna use the 30 millimeter hole saw bit to drill the holes in the rear body for the tail lights. Okay guys, I'm gonna warn you, I am chewing gum because I'm getting nervous. I hate drilling holes into like freshly painted body pieces. However, if you've been following the channel long enough, I put blue painter's tape up here so I can mark out our dimensions for our hole. And we're gonna come up an inch and a half and over two and a quarter inches from the inside line there. All right, moment of truth. Well. I think this is all we need. Oh yeah. Maybe I'm just being biased here, but I like the look of that. Probably because it doesn't look like every other President tail light out there. And that one installed as well. Both look pretty good. Now I cut the end off of this harness here that went to the DC to DC converter. I put these ring terminals on here. Since we're using that battery, we're not gonna use the converter itself. And I went ahead and cut that other wire that went to the ignition. It's back here as well. It won't be shown here when, since we're not using it. I'm gonna run this right here to the battery. All right guys, so we got all the lights hooked up. Let's run through this uh, switch here on the column. Right now everything is off. First thing we're gonna turn on, that's your daytime running lights. The next thing we're gonna turn on is your headlights. I think that's low beam and that's high beam. Back to low beam. Okay, you got turn signals right, turn signals left. You also have uh, hazards. And you have the horn. And you can operate the lights themselves from the stalk, uh, you know, all the time. You can actually flash your lights, um, you kind of like you do on a vehicle, even if the lights are off. And the hazards as well. Turn signals. And the front light bar looks pretty good on the golf cart. Now I really like the tail lights, number one, because they're smoked, right? Let me show you my favorite part about them. This is daytime running lights. There's no tail lights. This is your running lights here. They flash this pattern and they light up red. And it's got like a bunch of LEDs around the perimeter. But check this out. If you turn and uh, put the turn signal on, these lights are actually switchbacks. They change to amber. That's your left, that's your right, your hazards, 
Okay. You also have your brakes. But I really love the fact that they're switchbacks. All right, let's go over the USB outlet here. Okay, it's gonna come like this right here. It's got two USB. It says, it says QC 3.0, might be USB 3.0. You can use your USBs or you can hit the power button here to turn on the voltmeter and it's displaying the voltmeter or the voltage of our lithium iron phosphate battery that we have powering the uh, low voltage side of the system. You can leave that on. I'm gonna turn it off. That was a pretty nice feature. If you leave it on, it will display through the cap, which is pretty cool. Thought I'd show that too. We're not gonna mount that in this episode here because, well, I don't have the dash on just yet. All right, guys, so this is the NOCO GCP2. It's got two outlets, two females for one male here. And we're gonna use this port here, the hook to both chargers, the charger for the golf cart, and for this NOCO Genius 10 by one. I was really hoping it wasn't gonna be that big because I was hoping it was only gonna be very small from what I've seen on the internet. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Let's see about mounting this right here on the golf cart as well. All right, so this lower piece here that fits underneath the, uh, the foot area is where your charger normally goes. I got the GCP2 here for this particular spot. And it fits snug. Once you get your hardware in there, it'll stay in place, but have a waterproof cover, put an extension cord in there, then we can charge both batteries at the same time. Every time we charge, both batteries will charge. Well, maybe change of plans for the charger. Let me show you what I was talking about. I was hoping from the pictures I've seen on the internet, I can mount the charger right here and have enough room, but that's just not the case at all because this is how big the charger is. Looking like I'm about to mount this right here. I wasn't wanting to do that, but we might have to. All right, so some of y'all may remember this board here. I had it in uh, Club Car DS. It's just PVC board here. This is one of the ones remaining from that uh, golf cart. Anyways, uh, brought it in here and notched it out for this little piece right here. That will take up a big chunk of the hole away uh, on the passenger side. And it's looking like this NOCO charger is going to have to mount over here, something like that. I think that's what I'm going to do so I can access the nuts and the bolts from inside this body here off that front cavity. Well, I've had crazier ideas, and I was just going to sit it up there to see what it looks like with a zip tie, but it's not going anywhere. All right, guys, appreciate you watching the video today. We're able to get the 8-gang mic tuning system installed onto the golf cart. We didn't get the switcher mounted just yet. We have a dash going in here on the next episode with some speakers and some other things as well. We were able to get the Nokens Deluxe LED headlight kit with these cool smoked lenses here in the rear hooked up and working we got the brakes on the golf cart uh, i didn't show any of that but it's coming along we'll probably finish it in the next episode i got some other things too that i'm really not gonna just spoil it with just yet but the next video we're gonna be doing all of that appreciate you guys watching today's video until next time we'll see you later oh and let me say this links to everything i used in today's video will be in the description below check them out bye